Club has my secret club. Oh, fellow wanderers, what are you doing in my playroom watching me inside of my secret clubhouse? My secret clubhouse. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit embarrassed right now. I'll probably have to talk to my therapist about this in session. But either way, let's pop on down to the lab. I have something I need to share with you. Hello, fellow wanderers. My name is Ben Chelanitsky. You can sing the letters of my last name to the Mickey Mouse theme song. And on a weekly basis, I like to share my points of view of the world as I view it through the lens of the Torah. This week takes us to Cleveland, Ohio, where a child was taken into protective custody by state social workers for a very big reason. <laughs> big reason. No, not funny. The third grader, eight-year-old boy, weighs approximately 250 pounds, and state social workers feel that the child is in imminent health danger. They feel that the mother wasn't doing enough into remediating her child's weight, and as a result, the mother is not fit to take care of the child. The mother, to her defense, has been trying to have her child lose the necessary weight, but again, we're talking about a 250-pound individual, and we all know how incredibly difficult it is to lose enough weight properly at the right amount of time. But either way, Cleveland officials have taken away the child from the parents. People that are pro the mother feel that by taking away the child, you're actually increasing the stress, which increases cortisol, which increases overeating. So it could be argued that what the state is trying to do is actually not helping the child at all. And there are a lot of reasons for childhood obesity that are beyond the mother's immediate control. So perhaps the state overstepped their boundaries. But either way, the thing that makes me wonder is, why do we have children? at all. And the reason why this question is connected with this story is because child rearing is not easy. Our kids can give us a run for our money. And sometimes that has us react in a way that isn't so good for the child's welfare. You want to know what I think? I think we should get rid of the kid and buy a new cat! Flo, you're not making any sense. Oh, you want to make sense? Why don't you show him who's boss? Here, be a man. So what is the Torah's view of why we have children? And what is the approach that we should have? There is a story that is shared by Rabbi Yisachar Frand, one of the Rosh Yeshiva, one of the head rabbis of the Baltimore Yeshiva called Ner Yisrael. In this story, a man is visited by his uncle. The uncle sees the young nephew dealing with many of his little children, running around, causing a ruckus, but the young father is taking care of each one of them very patiently and very lovingly. The uncle is so impressed by how his nephew behaves that he asks his nephew, how will your children ever be able to repay you for what you're doing for them? The nephew replies, well, I guess on some level they're giving me a sense of eternity because once I'm gone, my children will live on. But the question was so good that they decided to pose it to the Brisker Rav. The Brisker Rav replied when he heard the exchange between this uncle and this nephew that to think that we're going to get anything back from our children completely defeats the purpose of why God wants us to have children in the first place. According to the Brisker Rav, the reason why we have children is to try to become more like God. Now, what does that mean to become more like God? Well, Torah Judaism believes that everything that God does is for the best, that everything from this universe constantly benefits from God's will. And individually, we can see many of the blessings that we have in our lives, and sometimes we can't, but they're there. So, when we have children, we're constantly tested in our patience and our benevolence. We try to express a lot of patience when our children are running our nerves ragged. But ultimately, having children, according to Torah Judaism, is an exercise in giving constant love. And when we're able to have the proper perspective on child raising... Will you be quiet up there? I'm trying to make a video! We become greater individuals ourselves. A 
tremendous shout out goes to the creator of the Platoon of Power Squadron, Jake Jarry. Thank you so much for your endorsement of my show. If you like the content that you see, please share it with others. I appreciate your support. Click the like button, leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you next week. Be'ezras Hashem. Oi, <laughs> oi,